This week, we have been talking to mental health professionals about shootings and trauma in the military. Earlier this week, a sailor opened fire at Pearl Harbor in Hawaii. There are several videos dedicated to mental health on MacDill Air Force Base's YouTube page in hopes of changing the culture of talking about the problems military men and women face. The entire U.S. Air Force shut down operations for an entire day to focus on mental health and suicide prevention. That was back in September. Today, we talked to a former military captain about his struggles with post-traumatic stress. Gabe Saffold told 10 News reporter Liz Crawford if not for therapy, he would have taken his own life. But it wasn't just any therapy. Saffold tried a new PTSD treatment that rewrote bad memories in his brain and replaced them with happy thoughts. You know, being the military officer, you know, American military officer, I'm tough, I'm fine, don't worry about it. You know, and uh, I am tough. I am now fine, but I was not fine at the time. Gabe Saffold is a former intelligence officer with the U.S. Air Force. He was deployed five times to Iraq and Afghanistan, where he says he experienced traumatic events that changed his whole personality. I actually felt angry and sad all together all the time in my sleep when I was awake. It was crazy. I would have pulled the trigger on myself. Yeah, I would have killed myself. And I got there. I was there with a gun to my own head. And it came to a point where I'm the threat. So I need to, I need to protect everyone else by taking myself out. That's when Saffold accepted help, turning to art or accelerated resolution therapy, an innovative approach that rewrites traumatic memories to instead trigger happy thoughts. And after they get through it the first time, the brain recognizes that, okay, I survived that, I can, you know, see it again. And so then it becomes desensitized. On Friday, mental health professionals learned about the therapy, which uses a combination of eye movements and memories at a workshop in Tampa. One of the memories is now a child's birthday party in my mind. And instead of getting some really dark stuff, a kid shows up and gets a soccer ball and they play. We're kind of stirring up the pathways and laying down new pathways. So if it comes up, I'll just spontaneously think of this birthday party in Iraq. It's this Iraqi family birthday party that never happened. Accelerated resolution therapy is not just for people suffering from post-traumatic stress. Clinicians are also using it to treat trauma, anxiety, phobias, and other mental health conditions.